what is blocked fallopian tubes and what are the treatment options for that? Yes, blocked fallopian tubes. During the course of fertility treatment or uh, when you're going for a basic fertility checkup, you may encounter blocked fallopian tubes through hysterosalpingogram or saline sonography. These are the methods where uh, we can find whether you have a blocked fallopian tube or not. See, what is blocked fallopian tube? You, to get pregnant, the sperm has to swim into the uterus through the tubes and uh, face the egg which is ovulated. After them getting fused, the embryo forms in the tube and it will take four to five days for it to travel to the uterus and lodge into it. And that's how pregnancy happens. See, when you have a blocked tube, this action can be impaired. So what you can do is you can go for some procedures which can have a reversal in this block. So the procedure is like a hysteroscopic tubal recannulation can be done. It's a small procedure through hysteroscopy. We can easily introduce a tube and uh, open the block which is in the cornwall region. See, blocks can occur even in the fimbrial end which is the end of the tube. That can be dealt with the laparoscopically too. So there are procedures for you to do for you to have a natural conception before you step into an IVF procedure.